Welcome to the Ronald McDonald House of Windsor, Ontario. We opened our doors in May of 2016 and have been supporting families ever since. Our Day Pass program is offered to help families of seriously ill children in hospital who are not living here at the Ronald McDonald House. Just follow the red stripes to the third floor and ring the doorbell. A staff member or volunteer will greet you over the intercom to assist you. Let us know you have a day pass by telling us and or showing us your card through the window. The program runs from 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Each adult who is over 18 years of age who wants to enter the house must receive a day pass card from either their hospital social worker, the charge nurse in their unit, or from a child life specialist. These cards will then be given to an RMH staff member or volunteer upon entering the house. Those who are under 17 years old must be accompanied by an adult. Children 11 and under must be in the same room as their parents, while those 12 and older can be in a different room, but their caregiver must be in the house. The house is staffed by family services coordinators and volunteers. If you have any questions or concerns, you can recognize family services coordinators by their blue lanyards, and volunteers wear either red vests or shirts which say volunteer. If you have never used the Day Pass program here in Windsor, you will be required to fill out a registration form when you first enter. Should you need any part of the form better explained to you, please ask the Family Services Coordinator who has quick access to a virtual translator. If you have used our Day Pass program here in the past, please let a staff member or volunteer know, and we can use your previously completed registration form and simply update any relevant information. This information remains confidential and the emergency contact section is especially important to fill out. A staff member or volunteer will also go over our infection control protocol. We do a health screening form when you enter the house for the first time of the day and take your temperature to ensure everyone in the house stays safe and healthy. Once you have completed the registration form, we will give you a numbered lanyard for the day. Once you have your lanyard, you will print your full name and lanyard number on our sign-in sheet, along with the time you entered. When you leave, you are then asked to sign out. While in the house, you must wear your lanyard so we are able to identify our guests. You will return it either on your last visit to the house or at the end of the day by placing it in the mailbox outside. All lanyards are sanitized each night. You are welcome to come and go as many times as you like between 9.30 and 5.30. We just ask that you sign in and out each time, so we are aware of how many people are in the house at all times. Let's take a look around. In our living room we have a television, many movies to choose from, and even several gaming systems. Our lanai is our most relaxing area. We have games available to play and even a massage chair. All we ask is that you sign up with your lanyard number on the sign-in sheet. Should you want a bit of fresh air, we have a window with sliding doors, and in our second living room, we have a fireplace and a communal computer with internet access, a printer, and a phone. Simply dial 9 to get the outside line. Our kitchen and dining area is a favorite spot for our families. Everything in the kitchen is labeled, but if you do need assistance, please let us know. You're welcome to have a bite to eat, but we do ask that meals be eaten in the dining area. You may also notice bins with room numbers on them in the fridge and pantry. These items belong to the families who are currently living with us, so we ask that you do not touch any of these items. There are garbage bins on both sides of the kitchen as well as a recycling bin. When your meal is complete, just scrape the rest of your plate into the garbage, wash your dishes with dish soap and a sponge, and add them to the dishwasher. The dishwasher sanitizes all dishes, so it's important this step be followed in this communal living space. The kitchen also has a coffee station, which includes tea, hot chocolate, and a vending machine, which only costs 50 cents. As previously mentioned, meals are to be eaten in the dining room, but you are welcome to take a coffee and one snack with you to go. We also have laundry facilities. There is a sign-up sheet on the wall where you will write your lanyard number, the time you begin your laundry, which machine you are using, as well as the time your laundry is finished. Detergent and dryer sheets are both provided. 
You must stay in the house while your laundry is being washed and dried, and the last load must be in the dryer by 4.30 p.m. We have an accessible communal bathroom which also has a shower. The lock is on a sensor and will turn red when it is locked. Like the laundry, to use the shower, you must sign up on the sheet just outside the washroom with your lanyard number and the time you start your shower. Towels, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and a hair dryer are all provided. Once you have completed your shower, dry the floor with your towels and then place them into the hamper behind the door. Sign-up sheets are for showers only and are not required when just using the toilet. We are also happy to provide a nap room for our guests. To use the room, make sure it is empty and then sign up with your lanyard number and the time you start your nap. Only one adult is allowed in the room at a time. There is no time limit for naps, but we do ask you to be mindful of other guests who may want to use it. An alarm clock and a phone are also provided, but prior to leaving, please be sure to turn off any alarms you may set while in the nap room. While we have mentioned the many communal spaces that we are proud to share with the families who visit us, we also want to make note that for everyone's safety, strict disinfecting and sanitization protocols are followed within the house. In order to maintain privacy for the families who are living here, the only area off limits to our day pass guests is the bedroom hallway. We hope you have found this day pass program virtual tour helpful. For more information on Ronald McDonald House Windsor, visit rmhc-swo.ca.